trying to change out a uh, heater core. No big deal, right? Oh, oh, yeah, well, it's a Dodge Intrepid. That's the big deal. Piece of friggin' junk. Yeah, it's, um, it's been a good day, let me tell you. That's what it is. It's at least one day's work just to get this heater core out. Yeah. All the entire dash has to be disassembled. And then the big old heating cooling unit has to be disassembled or pulled out of there. Um, all to get to this one little hole right there to pull the heater core out. Disassemble the dash, the um, steering column. Oh, yeah. It's been fantastic. What a day. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take off our console. Uh, I'm going to take out the center console. I, it's got an Allen wrench on the front side of that on the shifter shifting lever. Uh, take that off and that all just pops right off as well as the face plate for the radio and everything. Just pop that off and let it begin. What to do is take this uh, molding here off. Uh, the other side I've already got off right there. You can take those off. Uh, in order to take off the panel up in front, <clears throat> that guy there. So yeah, take off those, you can take off that. Also take off your uh, fuse box uh, cover and uh, the same little plastic deal on the other side. Off the, uh, the door panel for the glove box, we'll take that off. It's just uh, about four screws on the bottom. And then uh, for the hinge, and pop her open and take a take her off. And uh, we're also going to be taking off this panel here, directly beneath the, the steering console and such. Um, mostly it snaps, push in deals on this side, um, as well as on this side. But then on the far outside, you have a couple screws. So look for those. So we got the uh, the door off of the uh, glove box. We're gonna take this panel off here. Um, it's just the screws there, and then uh, the rest is all snaps. So don't be afraid to kind of pull on it. You got two at the back, and then I think there's one or two up the front too. So I'm not sure if that screw there is a uh, factory or if somebody put that in afterwards. But yeah, we're gonna do that one. And basically, it's the same on the other side with that far panel there. Just you got a couple snaps in the back, a couple snaps up front, and screws. Take them off. I'll take off this panel here. This is basically just the inside of the uh, glove box after you've taken the door off. So we'll take that off next. All right, underneath the steering column, we gotta take this plate off in order to get to the uh, the bolts and nuts to take the steering column down to uh, lower it. So here we have underneath the dash two more plenums to take off. They just, uh, the top one, first one you see there, just pulls out of the two ends. The lower one there pulls out the right side and has a screw or a pin on the left hand side. You also have one passenger side, plenum at the bottom too, just down there. Those need to come out. Go underneath the steering column here. And you got to remove those two bolts right there. And up above them, you have two, there you go, two nuts to get off. So four of those, both 10 millimeter. Um, time to disconnect some wires. Here on the driver's side where the uh, fuse box is at, there's a bunch of stuff. I would just go ahead, I just disconnected everything just because there's nothing that frustrates you more is when you're pulling on the dash or pulling on something and you have a couple of wires that are stuck that you should have unclipped because they're quick release, they're easy, um, and then they bite you in the butt if you didn't. So just disconnect all those as well as on the other side here, if I can get it to focus, you'll have that white one there on the left, um, disconnect that one and, uh, and there's a... Uh, a lower one down there too, just, you'll see it. Uh, disconnect them both, save yourself some trouble. Getting serious. All right, the dash needs to come out. So, you're gonna take these guys that here out, those two, there's two in the center, two on that side. You have three on this guy right here. 
as well as the other side. And then you have two larger uh, nuts down there. Um, those are 13, the others are all 10s. Um, I believe that's all to pull that sucker off. And then a little bit of, a little bit of cussing and swearing obviously does some good. So good luck with that. Got to pull out your uh, cross member here, the reinforcement on the dash. So you got four bolts there on that far side. The other two that looks like there's going to be nuts are actually just po uh, pins. So you just have the four bolts on that wall there. You got two right there. One on the side of this bracket mounting it down to the center console. Take that nut off and I would advise uh, loosening up the nut at the bottom of that of that bar just to give yourself some more play. Move it out of the way. And then you got two more on the top. And then the other side here, these two bolts here are just to uh, to hold it in place. Uh, this 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 piece here slides, so that'll give you the ability, the ability to pull it out. You have two bolts there. And then after that, you'll pull out this plenum here. Um, that's just got two plastic screws, and then it slides to the passenger sides, towards the passenger side, and then pulls right off the top. I'm gonna be taking out the whole air intake. You start with the box, work your way back around and pull it all out that way you can get to the uh, the heater core or the um, lines hoses heat line yeah you got it and uh, the AC as well with the uh, air intake out of the way you can uh, take off the uh, AC so your Freon is gonna be all gone which is great uh, disconnect that as well as your heater hoses pull those off and I pulled off the plate and uh, that rubber gasket just so it's easier to get the uh, the heater core uh, hard lines back in through the firewall on the uh, reassembly. So that's what I did anyway. So uh, this is kind of a tutorial. I'm gonna record this backwards because I didn't know what I was doing taking it apart. I started going at it. So as I put it together, I'm gonna kind of show how it was taken apart. Um, if you're gonna do this, it's a Dodge Intrepid uh, 98 heater core. It's uh, quite the chore to tackle, so just a head, heads up. All right, so here, um, it helps to take this guy out. This is just one of your uh, uh, lines that feed air to the back end, back of the car, the back seats. But your whole unit has to come out, the heating cooling unit has to come out in order to get to the uh, heater core, which is back into that. Great design. All right, so you have four bolts up here. Well, two nuts, which is right there, right there, a bolt here, bolt here and then in the firewall you have a nut that goes on that one nut that goes on that one the obvious heater hoses need to pop be popped off your AC lines have to be pulled off another awesome feature um, to get that out that's part of the cooling unit and then that one hidden way down there is uh, another nut to be pulled off so that's the last part of getting that sucker out of there.